DJ TV. Hey guys, welcome to another exciting edition of DJ MTV Daily News Update. Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you, depending on the time zone at which this video got to you. If this is your first time of seeing any of our video or you're a returning subscriber, please do not forget to go yourself further, like this video, share, and subscribe to all our channels. You can also check us out on our website, www.djmtv.news. Let's go straight up into the main news. Posiba Journal talks like a pirate, says Deji Adeyaju. Plus, Pandev slammed Norton Group for attacking Akere Dolu on power shift as Bamidele drops threat to challenge APC primary in court. Hey guys, this is still DJ MTV Daily News Updates. The former youth leader of the People's Democratic Party, DJ Adeyanju, has said that the vice president Emil Sibanjo now talks like a pirate in the Asso Rock Villa. GMTV News has earlier reported that with President Mamadou Bouari's tenure coming to an end in 2023, there has been this curiosity about who will become Nigeria's next president after he leaves office. This is even as the two major parties, the All Progressive Congress APC and the People's Democratic Party PDP, have not yet zoned the presidential ticket to any of the region in the country. Although some aspirants on that both party have publicly declared their intention to run for the presidency in 2023. But there has been a lot of speculation that the Vice President Emil Sibanjo plans to run for the office of the president, but he has not yet declared his intention publicly. But Deji Adeyaju in his Twitter handle has said that Sibanjo is now very vocal, like a parrot speaking every day on different issues. His mouth and hand and leg are no longer tied. The post reads, Osibanjo is now speaking like a parrot speaking on different issues. He has wrote on his tweet to Andrew. But meanwhile, earlier this week, some youth staged a walk in Baoshi State asking the vice president Osibanjo to contest for the 2023 presidency. The youth under the ages of I Nigeria movement called on Vice President Emil Sibanjo to, as a matter of urgency, make his intention known for the primaries for the number one seat in the country under the umbrella of the All Progressive Congress. It was reportedly said that the group began its work from the Abubakar Tafa Balewa Stadium, Baoshi, and went around all major streets in the state capital, drumming, singing, and canvassing, and also soliciting for the Vice President Emil Sibanjo's candidacy in the presidential election come 2023, saying, We want Osibanjo back. Professor Osibanjo should continue where Buari has stopped. This is still DJM TV Daily News update. Just in case it's your first time of seeing any of our video or you are a returning subscriber, do not forget to like, share and comment on all our videos. Do follow us on all our social media platforms on Facebook, on YouTube and also on Instagram. Also check us out on our website www.djmtv.news. Let's go back straight up into the main news. Meanwhile, on other news, Pandev, the Pan Niger Delta Forum, has described the remark by the coalition of Norton Group CNG over a recent statement on the 2023 presidency by Rotimi Akredolu doubles as the Ondo State Governor and the Chairman of the Southern Governors Forum as irritational and dilutional. The coalition of Norton Group in the statement described Governor Rotimi Akredolu as a big threat to democracy in Nigeria following his recent comment that any party who feels a Norton candidate for the presidency in 2023 will lose the election. Recall that DJM TV has earlier reported that Akira Doluru Timi has, while receiving members of the power rotation movement PRM in his office in Akure, reiterated that there is a need for parties to feed Southern candidates, insisting that it was the turn of the South to produce the next president in Nigeria. 
Bandev, in reaction to the attack on Governor Akri Doluro Timi, insisted on its position on power shift and restated that the resolution of the Southern and Middle Bet Leaders Forum at its meeting of January 13, 2022, that any political party that fits in Northern candidate should not count on the support of the foreign region in the 2023 general election for the office of the president. In a statement that was signed by Ken Robinson, its national publicity secretary, the group has said that it wondered why is it difficult for people to accept the truth, adding that it is simply unthinkable that anyone would consider another Northern presidency after President Mamadou Buhari's eight years. The secretary made it clear that organizations like the so-called coalition of Northern groups seems pathetic about the peace and unity and stability of Nigeria. And according to Pandev, they have, by their utterances, presented themselves as assemblage and unpatriotic individuals who perhaps benefit from the inglorious going on in the country. They therefore urge this group to strive to appreciate the true tenets of democracy and stop the hallucination. The North should not and cannot retain Nigeria's presidency beyond 29th May 2023 in the interest of national unity. Let me remind the said coalition of Northern groups and their sympathizers that the appropriation of rights by any section of the country must be measured against the rights of the other. Undoubtedly, no group or section of Nigeria can arrogate itself or colonize the presidency of Nigeria. This is still DJ MTV Daily News update. Meanwhile, on other news, the senator representing Ekiti Central Senatorial District of Ekiti State and a governorship aspirant in the recently concluded All Progressive Congress APC primary, Okbeyemi Bamidele, has said that he will not be challenging the victory of the party's candidate, Mr. Biodu Oyebanji, in the court for the sake of the unity and cohesion of the party APC. It has been reported by DJM TV that Senator Bamidele has shortly after the primary, which he boycotted alongside six other aggrieved aspirants, vowed to challenge the outcome of the exercise, alleging that the governor Abubakar Baduru led APC committee brazenly manipulated the APC primaries. But recently, in a statement he personally signed and made available to newsmen in Adoe Kitty, Senator Bamdele said he reconsidered his earlier position after critical stakeholder intervened and appealed to him to shield his soul. The senator said, though he still abhors resentment against the January 27 primary, which he described as a shame and shadows, he wouldn't seek redress in court or defect from the All Progressive Congress. The senator maintained that he was dissatisfied with the alleged shoddy way the primary went and the betrayal of the confidence therein, but said his action didn't connote that he had abandoned the struggle to right the wrongs and made the party truly democratic, he said. His words read thus. Yet, in spite of my strong conviction as expressed above, I have come to some irreversible conclusion and these are the message I need to pass on to all and all the sundry today as I temporarily break my silence on the way forward. One is to say that I have chosen to drop the option of going to court with the party. The other is to make it crystal clear to everyone that both my supporters and I will not defect from the APC. Details of the reasons which inform these choices we communicated at a later date when my supporters and I will address equity people and Nigerians at large. It is not just about me. This is still DJM TV Daily News update. So guys, here we have it. After um, Senator Bamidele Okoyemi, who said he was going to court with the All Progressive Congress based on the primary that was aired on the 27th of January 2022, where he lost. He has come out to say that he would not be going to court to seek redress because of the unity of the party. Although some Nigerians have been saying that um, he will never go to court, that he likes the APC as a party, and there are a lot of things he stands to gain if he did not go to court. So what do you think, guys? Do you think that this is um, the true um, statement or the true fact of what is going to happen? Or do you think um, Senator Bamdele has an hidden agenda? 
We also saw the band Def who has come out to say that the coalition of Northern Group are not democratic for blasting um, Governor Akeridolu over his statement when he said that power must be shifted to the south after President Mamadou Buhari. But this issue has been lingering for a very long time. But what do you think, guys? Do you think that it is the right thing to do when um, Governor Akeridolu said the power must change and, and come to the southern part of the country? What are your thoughts and comments? Drop them in the comment section below. Thank you for staying with us till the end of this video. And as a way of reminder, we are also on Instagram and on Facebook at DJMTV. Also, you can check us out on our website, www.djmtv.news. You can also place your advert with us at DJMTV and be rest assured that your business would get to the desired market. Until I come your way with another exciting edition of DJMTV Daily News Update, thank you for watching. Yeah! Thank you.